question here that tests a lot of the aromatic chemistry part of F324. So I'll just pick out the essentials or the, the basic structure of the question. We'll scroll through slowly so you can see what's being asked. You can have a go and then I'll go through the answers. So the first part is um, a synthetic route, I suppose, starting from benzene and going to 4-chlorophenylamine in three stages. So you've got to come up with the chemicals for the three stages and two organic products that will be formed on the way. The next part of the question then takes the product of the first part, 4-chlorophenylamine, and asks about how it can be converted into a, a diazonium ion and the structures of the diazonium ion and the azo dye that could form and it does specify that phenol is involved. Next part of the question is testing your knowledge of the mechanism of electrophilic substitution but it's choosing an electrophile that we're not familiar with, SO3 so they've drawn it out here and they're expecting you to be able to apply your knowledge of the nitration mechanism or the halogenation mechanism and can you apply it to this unfamiliar scenario. And the last part of the question is centred around paracetamol and it tests your knowledge uh, again of reactions of arenes um, in this case it would be a phenol don't want to give too many clues away and so how does this this drug react with bromine and with sodium and then the final part how would paracetamol be hydrolyzed what would be formed if it was hydrolyzed with aqueous hot aqueous sodium hydroxide and we've got to draw the structures of the organic products. So the way I've chosen to do this synthetic route is I've put the chlorine on first and then I've dealt with putting the amino group on. So you can do it the other way around but I've gone for the chlorine first. So to put a chlorine onto the benzene ring, I would need chlorine and AlCl3 or FeCl3. You can see there's a mark for each of those. To then get the amino group on, I've first got to put a nitro group on. So I would form this molecule here. And to do that, I would need conch, nitric and conch sulfuric acids. I've then got to turn the nitro group into the amino group. So I would reduce it by using tin and concentrated HCl. But like I say, you could put the you could do the NO2 convert to NH2 first and then put the chlorine on if you wanted to. So the next part of the question, draw the structures of the diazonium ion and azo dye formed um, from chloro for chlorophenylamine. So there's the diazonium ion, and just be careful, the positive charge goes on the first nitrogen, and it's N, triple bond N. And then the azo dye that would form by reacting this with phenol would look like this. The mechanism now, so just as it is with the nitration mechanism, or chlorination. Curly arrow from the pi electron cloud, the circle within the hexagon. Pi electron cloud pair of electrons come out to the slightly positive sulfur. That would repel a pair of electrons in one of the SO double bonds. So obviously that's where the dipole is, so we've gone for that one. So a couple of marks there you can see. The intermediate's worth a mark, so just check you've drawn that correctly. And then we need to lose this hydrogen. So a pair of electrons from the middle of the bond back in to reform the pi electron cloud. 
and now the reaction of paracetamol with bromine and sodium. And you can see there I've just scribbled on the bromine is going to react with the benzene ring part. And if you remember, this is essentially a phenol. And so we're going to get multiple substitutions. And so I've put a couple of bromines on either side. So I've kind of tried to replicate as much as I can the two, four, six positions that you get when you react phenol itself with bromine. Obviously, this position here, position four is taken. So I've just gone for that. The mark scheme will actually allow up to four bromines on here. So you could actually fill all of the available um, positions uh, with bromine. But I've tried to mirror what actually you've, you would have in your notes with um, phenol and bromine. That's the only reason why I've gone for the structure that I've drawn. And sodium reacts with the OH group. And you can see that would be the structure of the um, paracetamol with sodium reaction. And just be careful that this doesn't look like a covalent bond between the oxygen and the sodium. So it's O minus Na plus, or you could put O Na, but whatever you do, don't put a line between the two, the oxygen and the sodium. Hydrolysis reaction. You can see again, I've scribbled up there a little pointer. The it's the um, peptide bond or amide bond that breaks. So this this bond here that the cursor's on. So what are we going to get? Well, if this bond, sorry, if I get the paracetamol up there, this bond's going to break, and so that's going to become C double bond O, then O minus Na plus, see there. And what's this going to become? Well, we're going to reform this NH2 group, but the sodium hydroxide could react at this end of the um, structure, and so we're going to get that O minus Na plus with the NH2 group reformed. And that's the end of the question.